If you like this video and channel, click on the like button and subscribe button. Also, if you want to have notification when new video released, click on the notified button. Welcome in video where you can see what is the layers and also how to work with layers in your WinCC Tia, Porja, TIA Portal project. Okay, here you can click and here you can see all the layers on your screen. You can use 32 layers from the layer 0 to the uh, layer 31. <coughs> Sorry. In layers is also some hierarchy. The layer 0 is the layer of the background. Or upper layer is foreground before the previous layer. This means the layer 2 is foreground against layer 1 and same layer 1 is foreground against layer 0. Ok, uh, as an example we use for example the object rectangle and the object text file. Ok, for example we have text how layers works. We change the size of the font of this text, for example 25 and allegement will be centered. Ok, now we check the size of the layout. Ok, size is 20 two two seven and three four okay two two seven three four okay now we also <coughs> copy the rectangle one rectangle we use as a background of the text file and second we use as a border of the background Okay, this will be for example border. Okay, we have a border of white 5 with color for example I don't know red. <coughs> and the fill pattern of the background will be transparent. Okay, the background of the text will be uh, green and without the border. Now we want to make something like that. Text will be at the front and background at the back. Okay. This mean we have the background border and the text but the now is problem when we want to change something for example all on the rectangle um, we mean the border when we click on it we still click on the text file we have the problem click on the border or on the or on the background rectangle because all of these objects have the same size for this we can use layers. If you don't use layers you still must move the text file and then click on the rectangle or when you want to change the background you want also move with the for example border and click on the background. But you can use it more comfortable for example with the using the layers sorry okay for the background we use the layer number can be label layer number one okay we change the name background second layer we use for the border and third will be text. 
This is because we want to have a some hierarchy in the in the layers because if we use text on this place and background here then text still will be behind the rectangle okay you can see uh, for the rectangle we use a layer number 3 text and for the text we use layer number 1 background and now here you can see how this hierarchy work. You can see text is still behind the rectangle. Also, if you use bring to front, move to forward for the text and move backward and send to back for the background, still the rectangle is before the text. This is the hierarchy in the layers in the WinCC. But okay, we normally use for the background, we use background layer. For the text, we use text layer. And for the border, we use border layer. Okay, we go back to the screen. And now we can alignment all objects together. We use center selected objects. And how you can see, we have it like we want. Text is in the front, then we have the border and the background. And now if you, for example, want to change something on the background, you don't want to uh, move the object like previous, but now you can just click on the invisible the text layer you can see now the text layer is invisible also we click on the invisible border and now we can work only with the background object and change I don't know for example color of this object to yellow and now if we, if we also again want to see all the layers of the screen we make it say again visible and we again have it visible same we can use for the border layer and also same for the only text layer sorry okay this is the this is the basic example how to layers works Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.